What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our college football channel. If you've been watching over the last several days, we've shown you the projected standings based off of our projected records uh, for all of the Power 5 conferences. Now I'm going to give you a projected top 25 poll, which would be at the end of the regular season. So before the conference championship games, uh, we're going to give you the projection based off of those records that we've shown you. So this started way back at the beginning of the year. We started doing projected records for uh, several of the teams, most of the Power 5 teams. And that was based off of just what the national narrative was around each team, what their schedule looked like, how tough the schedule was, things like that. Not a prediction, and this is not my prediction. When I get done with my predictions, I will give you a, a top 25 poll where I think the top 25 is going to look at the end of the regular season. But this is simply based off of those projected records. And it's kind of hard to do because you don't know, you know, teams, who did they lose to, who did they beat, you know, that plays in uh, it's a factor with the playoff committee so we basically just uh, rank the teams based off of their records and then how tough their schedule is what you know i think the committee would do uh, based off of how you know how they're going to view these teams and things like that it's not perfect but it's it's simply a, a top 25 poll and it was interesting because we had exactly 25 teams 25 power five teams that had a record of eight and four or better with these projections and keep in mind these projections are very conservative uh, and there will be no group of five teams in this top 25 poll uh, because I didn't, for one thing, I didn't do projected records for those teams. And then even a team like Cincinnati, you know, their projection is going to be nine and three, eight and four. That's not going to be enough for a, a group of five team to get in the top 25. For a team to get in the top 25 at that group of five level, they would have to beat their projection. I don't think you know, there's not going to be a group of five team projected to go 11 and one with the formula that we use just because the odds are uh, you're going to lose a couple of games. So keep all that in mind as we go through and show you this top 25 poll. We're going to start at the bottom. So here's 21 through 25, Northwestern 8-4. And, and honestly, I think a 7-5 team would be ahead of Northwestern because their schedule is that weak. So I think the playoff committee would probably have a 7-5 team ahead of an 8-4 Northwestern, depending on the schedules and all that. But again, for the sake of this video and this top 25 poll, it came out to where we had 25 teams uh, with an 8-4 record or better. So we're just going to go with that formula. Uh, we're just going with the record. So we're putting all the 8-4 and four teams behind the, all the 9-3 and three teams. There might be an 8-4 and four team ahead of a 9-3 and three team. But this is just what it could look like. And again, this is really the record where if your team does better than this, they've had a good year. If they do worse than this, they've had a bad year. Arizona State, another team with an easy schedule. That's why they're all the way down at 8-4. Pittsburgh, 8-4. Utah, 8-4. Ole Miss, 8-4. You know, I think any of these teams uh, would be pretty happy with uh, a top 25 finish. An 8-4 record, I think, would be very solid for, for Ole Miss, for Utah, for Pittsburgh, Arizona State, Northwestern. Uh, so I think 8-4 is a, a pretty good record, a pretty good projection for these five teams. Let's move on now to the next five teams. We've got Texas, USC, Iowa, Washington, and Indiana. All of these teams also are projected to go 8-4. and four. Uh, And again, some of these records are, are not are, – when we separate the – the overall record and the conference record, you know, it, it can change things around. You can go back and watch those videos. Again, we did an SEC projection, Big Ten projection, Big 12 projection, ACC projection, Pac-12 projection. And so where the wins and losses are coming from, we don't know. We don't try to predict that. We just simply average things out and give you a projected overall record. And that's why, again, it's hard to, to know for sure what the committee would do. Uh, as far as how they would rank these teams but this would just be my best guess i think they'd have texas just ahead of usc texas does play louisiana and arkansas in the non-conference so a pretty tough schedule for them i think tougher than usc tougher than iowa even though iowa does play iowa state in the non-conference again it's very complicated then you got washington in there and indiana uh, so all of these teams i think i think all these teams would expect to be in the top 25 at the end of the year that i think uh, it would be a bad year if they're not in the top 25. I think these teams uh, are a little bit ahead of those teams I showed you before as far as expectations go, and I think that works out pretty well with where we have them ranked. So 16 through 20 there. Let's go to 11 through 15. Uh, we see our final 8-4 and four teams, LSU 8-4, and four, Wisconsin 8-4, and four, Penn State and Miami with Florida up there at number 11. I've got them as uh, the last 9-3 and three team just because the schedule is not really – all that tough for Florida this year. LSU, they're going to have a pretty tough schedule, of course, playing in the SEC West, playing Florida. 
Uh, maybe they'd be a little bit lower. Again, it depends on how they played in these games. Did they get blown out? You know, did they compete with Alabama, things like that. Uh, but 8-4 and four was the projection for LSU, Wisconsin, Penn State, and Miami. And I think these are your top tier 8-4 and four teams if this does happen. You know, you could see a team with, that maybe has a real tough schedule at 8-4 and four, be ahead of a team like Florida at 9-3, and three, possibly. Uh, but it's, it's hard to, for me to think that they're going to put an SEC team behind a team uh, with a worse record. So it, it's it's hard to imagine a team like Wisconsin at 8-4 being ahead of a 9-3 SEC team in Florida. So still, I think overall, um, Florida would be ahead of these 8-4 teams. But like I said, some some of these rankings would probably be changed a little bit based off of the performance on the field and what the committee would think of these teams, obviously. So let's get into the top 10 now. Let's go to number 10. We have North Carolina at 9-3, Oregon at 9-3, Iowa State 9-3, Texas A&M 9-3. And And our first 10-2 team is Notre Dame. And this is a perfect example of uh, this not necessarily lining up with my predictions. I'm not going to put Notre I'm not going to have Notre Dame finishing at number six. I'm just not. Uh, maybe they do go 10 and 2, but I don't know that they finish at number six. When you look at their schedule, it's a pretty tough schedule, but they don't have a ton of top tier teams that they're going to be playing. You know, they do play North Carolina, play USC. Um, they don't have a lot of cupcakes on the schedule, but it's, it's an interesting schedule. It's kind of different than some of the other teams when we're trying to compare these schedules. But 10 and 2 for Notre Dame. Texas A&M at 9 and 3, Iowa State at 9 and 3. That's a team with a lot of hype coming into this year. Oregon, North Carolina, all these teams finishing 9 and 3 along with Florida. I think Texas A&M probably would be the top team just because, you know, they're going to have to play Alabama. They're going to have to go through the SEC West. The committee has shown they they like the SEC. They've shown that in the past. Iowa State has a tough schedule. Iowa in the non-conference. Oregon has that game against Ohio State. Iowa State's conference schedule though would would put them ahead of Oregon. And then North Carolina at 9-3. They don't really have too tough of a schedule. Yes, they play Notre Dame, uh, but overall in the non-conference, it's not too bad. So North Carolina there at number 10. Again, you can change these around however you want. This is just kind of how I would project it. And then the top five. So we got Clemson at number one, Alabama, Georgia, and Ohio State all at 11-1. Based off our projection, we know that Georgia would have lost to Clemson. So with that being their only loss, their only loss coming to the only undefeated team, I think they would stay ahead of Ohio State. I think Alabama will be number two just because they're Alabama. You can make an argument if Georgia played Clemson really, really close. Georgia could maybe be number two here. Uh, but those four teams would be 12-0 or 11-1. and Those would, You could say those would be your playoff teams, but then Georgia and Alabama are going to have to face off in the SEC championship in this scenario. That would open the door for a team like Oklahoma to jump in there if they were able to win the Big 12 championship. So that's interesting there as well. But again, these are the top five teams. And we talked about the the tier one teams, the teams that I said could win a national championship. Uh, These are the five teams. So even with these projections, you're still getting the same top five. But you could put Notre Dame in here because they were 10 and 2 as well. And maybe Notre Dame could be in that conversation, at least based off the projections. I would love to know what you guys think about this. Do you think the top 25 will look anything like this? Again, it's not my prediction. There are teams in this top 25 that I will not have in my final top 25. And there are teams that are not in this top 25 that I will have in my top 25. So mine will look different. This is simply a projection based off of all those projected records that we've been showing you. This will kind of wrap up that series. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching this video. And stay tuned for more here on the SG1 Sports College Football Channel.